Well, I never thought that it would happen in this uh, late stage of my life. Or, but I mean, it's just sort of I was starting to give up hope, you know, that kind of thing, you know, becoming very cynical and all that. But it happened, and it's very, very, very good. You know? And the thing is, uh, I think uh, uh, most people, I don't know, aside of, I mean, not having the luck of just, you know, happen, but, you know, I think, um, you see, because the whole society is geared towards that thinking, you know, that it's sort of almost silly to be in love and <laughs> stay together and all that. It's not very fashionable, is it? You know, it's that bit, too. So, you know. Yeah, and as mm -hmm. soon as they get together, like, the whole s s place is set up so as the guy has to work in Vancouver and his wife lives in Los Angeles. You know, and everybody accepts that right away. Yeah, sure, you know, we could never possibly work together because, you know, women can't get a job mm. and men all have to work together. So the whole place is geared to splitting you up as soon as you get together. You know. Even us, don't you think that <clears throat> almost subconsciously, though, you know, people try to sort of just split us up in a way. You know, it's very strange, you know, the way they do, very subtle thing. They don't even notice it, probably. But, uh, How do you, I don't know what you mean. How do you mean? Uh, you think you're paranoid now. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> all right, so <laughs> we shouldn't go into that, maybe. It's, hey, it's all right. just that, you know. It's, uh, I mean, the simple form is, well, we don't drink, so this is not us, but, you know, like... Uh, when you give up drink, men go they give you a drink the all the time. Or, you know, right. But the splitting up he wants to know about. Oh, oh, yes, yes. People are subconsciously yes. trying to speak. So, like, uh, say if uh, somebody uh, quit drinking, you know, and all the people who are still drinking are sort of all nervous, you know. So I say, well, why don't you drink just once? You know, this is okay and all that. And, you know, subconsciously they want this guy to not stop drinking, you know, it's just... And uh, because everybody else is sort of... Laying around. Or whatever, so they, they want you to... Oh, come on now. You're not serious. And all that, you know. Mm. Oh, come on, John, you know. Mm -hmm. You know, you're a musician, you mm -hmm. know all about it, all that. But, mm. but it's just subtle, you know. I mean, they're not... It's not evil intent. No, no. It's just the way people do it with the drinks and when you give up smoking, you know. Come on, have a cigarette, have another bar of chocolate. Mm. You know. Uh, marriage seem, uh, itself, I mean, as, a, as an official ceremony, seems to have somewhat gone out of style. How come you decided to go through with a regular marriage? Because we, we turned out to be romantic, you see. <laughs> I mean, we went through all the whole intellectual bit about, you know, marriage, you know, when it's a bit of paper and some yeah. guy gives it you, and that's all true. But when he gave it to us, it was very emotional, you know, yeah. and it, was, it wasn't even, a, we couldn't even get a nice vicar or a bishop, you know, yeah. <laughs> to do it. Mm, I mean, it's completely it? against what we thought, what I thought intellectually, I thought once, mm. never again, you know, if I get out of this, man, mm. you know, what a joke, you know, what a joke it all is. <laughs> and the next minute I'm standing there <laughs> and she's crying, you know, and <laughs> it's like we're soft kids, you know, mm. so we're romantic and it made a difference. Mm. It was like we were living together a year and she was pregnant and everything before <laughs> we did it. <laughs> and uh, <clears throat> but it was like this difference. Before we got our divorce papers, at first we didn't even think, oh, sad divorce, you know, let's just groove forget around, it, you know, yeah. forget it, we forget them, you know, we le leave them and that's it, you know, it doesn't matter what the papers say, you know, the, the, the certificates. But then we went for divorce, you know, mm. and then the difference between knowing the divorce is going through and when the guy comes and gives you the paper and he says, you're free, and you are, you know. Mm, and when you, really and you, 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 you're then aware of the, what was on your back anyway that you didn't know about, you know, that you were not free in that way, in that stupid civil way. So that worked, you know, the relief of having the paper that said she was no longer Mrs. Cox and I no longer had a wife mm. was fantastic. Mm. So if when that worked, getting married was the other way around. It was like another bond, you know. It's like, it's a ritual, mm. it's a nice ritual, you know, and we thought of getting married like everywhere we went. <laughs> in every country, you know, in every And in every style, religion, yeah. and get everybody who, who's got the right to do it to marry us, <laughs> and anybody who hasn't, and just keep mm. doing it, and tie every more and more string around each other, mm. you know, 
whatever it is. Mm. More wedding rings and more <laughs> ceremonies and more ritual. You didn't do that, though. No, but I would no, if we, we got a chance. No, we started to think you know. of it like a month ago about that, you know. Yeah, so we the haven't... first chance was India, but then it wasn't We missed too... it. There was a great Hindu right, marriage right. going on. We thought, wow, we'll have yes, one of them, you know. That would be the first one, you know. But uh, we'll make it into an event, probably. <laughs> mm. That's what we can do for yes, Midian. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> yeah. Mm, that's right. a place. Yeah, crazy. So that's what it is, you know, and... Uh, that's the answer. Mm. <laughs>